I don't see anything coming. And it, it's leaked quite a bit in the last 24 hours. I also own a farm. Here we go. You are now watching the 2024 season of Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. I'm coming for you, Norman. We're gonna feed the calves. We're gonna give it a try. See exactly how it works, but gorgeous day, and then we're supposed to get some more rain. What's up, bud? Aww. Hey guys. You guys kind of destroyed the trough over there. Let me look at the weather. If it's good, tomorrow we'll clean. It's got to dry out a little bit more. I'd like to thank today's partner, Ridge Wallets, for hooking it up. Great partner of the channel. I've been rocking a Ridge Wallet for like a year and a half, just over a year and a half. With so many different styles, you can never get sick of a Ridge Wallet. Plus, it keeps all of your necessities right at your fingertips. So, no bulky wallets like I used to have where you'd sit down, you'd feel it, you'd be driving in the car, you could feel it jabbing into you. I got four cards in here. You know, a stack of cash, because who doesn't have cash? Simplicity, lightweight, RFID blocking, so you don't have to worry about anybody stealing any of your information off your cards. And like I said, there's so many different styles. Currently rocking this blue carbon fiber, but as we see, we got a few sitting around. They hooked it up. All my buddies have them. We've been making it happen. Not only wallets, but key cases. So this is actually the spare key to my house. And currently it's Ridge's 11 year anniversary. So going on right now, there's a special sale with up to 30% off. Rumor has it Ridge wallets are only for males. Nope. They got new and unique colors to match both males and females. So. Hennessy with the Hennessy key case. Yeah, rocking it. I actually got somebody on my list that is gonna get that, plus the key case, so they got the whole combo. This is how it actually comes. You got your money strap, you got your money clip, you got spare parts as far as screws in case any of them come out. You got the screwdriver, you got all your clips. So go check them out, ridge.com slash duffyag. We'll get you 30% off right now till April 1st for the 11 year sale. I'd like to thank Ridge Wallets, not only for being a great partner of the channel, but creating great wallets and making my life much, much more organized. I used to have the big bulky wallet and it didn't make any sense. Carried around receipts, carried around credit cards that I didn't need, uh, business cards that I didn't need, all sorts of stuff. So this keeps me very simple and organized. So appreciate them, appreciate them being partner of the channel. Like I said, ridge.com slash duffyag. Percent off their 11 year anniversary sale going on right now till April 1st, so make sure you go check it out. We are throwing the Ridge sticker on the fridge. It's part of the family. Ridge.com slash DuffyAg to get your 30% off their sale. So appreciate you guys and let's dive back into the content. So they're making some mess. Oh, you guys really need some bedding in there. Let me see what the rest of the day looks like. Granted, they've been outside a lot more. I gotta fix this because you guys broke it. Well, oh. this is meant to be able to flip out, clean out. I was gonna put you guys somewhere, but I doubt you guys will stay anywhere. It's all wood. Sick.
Yeah, you guys made a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. We'll have a better feeder at some point. Um, we do have some bedding bales in there, and we still have some bedding bales there, so we gotta get it a little better. But I want to clean that out. So let me see how far we make it, and then if we got uh, some time this afternoon. We are back with the Mac. Um, so we ended last night with some frustration. We're gonna dive right back into it. We gotta figure out exactly how they wired what and who skipped what and figure out why we got so much of a coolant leak now. Um, I'm hoping it's a hose and not a, might be a um, freeze plug leaking out, but I don't think so. We gotta do some digging. Yeah. Sitting here, you see a lot more puddle. Um, alrighty, so, and I did spray foam this, and a bunch of people did say, oh, spray foam holds in the moisture. Like I said, this truck is this truck. So, gap sealer, I guess, is the way to go, but we'll get there. Alrighty, yesterday we realized that this wire doesn't actually go anywhere. There's a fuse missing out of one of them. So I am going to pull this whole junction box. I think it's an old blinker switch, which clearly they switched things out and did things. So as I said previously, this truck went from being a... Oh, no idea. I have to take that one off. This truck went from being a garbage truck, roll-off truck, to being a farm truck for multiple different farms. And I'm not good at wiring, but... Uh, like there's some wires we got to figure out and we do have to look and see about the jakes on this so yeah that would be good to get the jakes going for this truck alrighty they're on right now I disconnected all those jumper wires um so switch the switch and they're still on so somebody put a jumper wire in it, and the only thing I can think of is something's messed up in this harness. So we're gonna figure out what's what coming from here, because as of right now, we got, do we have low beams on? I don't even know. We might have low beams on and not high beams. No, nope, they're off right now. So we got to do some digging on that still. But at least we got marker lights with it high, with it all on. The only thing I can think of is I unplugged this harness. So, and of course it's all, it's junk up in the front. So we got to redo, we got to figure all of that out. So I'm going to slowly put things back together and make sure the lights stay good. And then we'll do some digging. I did take the high-low switch out. It had some build up behind it, but after I did that, it still didn't work right. What I did have to do is disconnect the oil feed line as far as the oil gauge there. It is a gorgeous day out today. I wish it would stay like this. We'd, be in a, we'd feel pretty good then. Oh, what do we got? The bulb popped out. Yeah. So that happens on the big jobs. But the wiring behind these, they're kind of... They're not great. They're never great. I don't think they were great when they first came, probably. I, maybe they were. So, alrighty. Let me pop this up, throw that oil line on for the gauge. Put this panel back in, and then we'll keep digging forward. That's pretty cool that, like, we got lights that work. Yep. And then they're off now. All of them are shut off on the same switch over here, which uh, isn't right but it's doable for what we're doing. Okay, that leads me to believe that, well, it's still working. I oh, almost just fell off that five gallon bucket. So the lights are still working. And we got our lights on our rear, which, let's see. We got our marker lights outside and then we got blinkers and brake lights middle. Um, and then we got reverse lights up top. So those are still working. Everything's good there. Let me just switch it through once so we can be 100% sure. And this is your high-low switch right there. Last night you couldn't see it. So they're still on. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can definitely see it. We got lights coming for that. I don't know where those are, 
and we need new covers well newish maybe used covers so from there it makes me think that i wish i had another person right now so there's four wires coming out we should have blinker high beam low beam marker light and ground i don't know why or there's eight wires but four in each so they got something mixed up or something happened along the way and if it's wired all messed up or something like that so be it we're gonna figure it out okay they're still on i've switched them back and forth i actually reconnected everything here i'll take the power probe and we'll uh see if we can get the high beam low beams to work so currently i'm not even sure what it's on right now but everything's disconnected let me see and i got the blinker going which we gotta rewire some of that stuff as long as we're here now we're gonna rewire it's tough to see and that's high beam yeah where are my snippers Yep, high beams on because that side only has high beams as of now. We're gonna fix that So let's go figure this out. Okay, so we got horn we got marker lights or blinkers I forget which one's which and then we got headlights so from here, let's uh, Dive into it. We got it wired back up We got a marker light now we got a blinker Low beam and then high beam so both of those are on we can shut the blinker off and then we'll low beam so high beam is off low beam is still on we got one side done now if we plug the other side in you think it's gonna work or actually and we still got marker lights right yep lights are still on up there let me make sure they're on when they're high up high beams otherwise it's it, it's chasing gremlins like like this that uh take all day long but once it's good it's always awkward and the white truck has some issues too we got to rewire some stuff um it's always awkward when you pull into a field and or lights have to go on and the truck doesn't have lights so kind of have to have that you know drive it on the road so one side is done. I am gonna put a holder right here. So we might as well do that. I got the truck running because the batteries were getting low. Um, but we'll shut her back off. I'm excited. Old girl getting some love. After all these years of just running it. Somebody did say about uh, my chain here and my brackets. We might just leave the chain. It's for real aggressive hills. So if you see this bottom bracket that holds it on, um, it started bending when the tank was on it. So it's gotta get replated, but the chain worked. It's It did its thing. Um, it's not like it was gonna flip over, but I just didn't want it to keep stretching any of the brackets. So we got, honestly, we should put a third up in the, or a fourth up in the front. But with the tank, it only had the three. And we left it that way just to line up with it so they're just on springs and it holds the holds it down but yeah a part of it very excited so we do have hold down pieces um that one should do right so we'll loosen this bolt back out put those that's all good this actually is tight in there. I spun it around. We did have it going the wrong way. But the other side, I don't believe has a light in it. I believe it's just a... Oh, no, it does. Okay, so we'll have to get a light. But <laughs> this is what we started with. Um, <laughs> it was worse on the other side because uh, it had more butt connectors down here. So currently, this side is unplugged because I wanted to diagnose. I didn't want to have anything back feeding across it. They had some stuff wired. Well, whoever wired it previously had a bunch of stuff wired, weird, some things connected together. So we will have to zip tie this all back up. 
it's odd that it doesn't come out like this comes right from the cab it doesn't come out and go to a junction block here um and i figured it would but i did take this extra piece off so that's all out of the way so it's a little cleaner because when you'd look at it you'd be like what is going on here so only other thing on wiring once we get this done my uh temp gauge temp gauge just doesn't work which is weird it's always says it's at 150. got this pile of uh lights that i actually picked up on a facebook marketplace deal when i was getting rims and found another one so out with the old ones which clearly are not working we got to figure out why but we're gonna re actually that one that wiring is not bad though yeah I, I don't know so let's see it would be cool if it would just work right off the back a little corrosion nothing bad oh yeah a little bit of build up let me grab a screwdriver Okay, there is a positive and a negative. So let's see. Oh, it works. Right off the back, we got one thing figured out. This one's a little tighter too, which is good. I want to crack the hood though. There we go. Now it's in the grommet. I realize that it doesn't go, they will not work if you put them in the wrong way. Oh, that grommet's not very good. So we need a two, we need two two inch grommets to hold them in. Maybe a little lubrication. Loosen up that rubber a little bit. What do we got? Lithium grease. Probably should just get grommets. Yeah, because they're in and it's, it can fall out. But. Okay, I'm going to rewire the blinker. At um, some point, I'd like to get LED blinkers, but they're working. And then we got to figure out the high low. So it's on high beam right now. Which should it be on high beam? Yes, it should be on high beam. So now it's on low beam. And we got no beam. So we gotta just figure out the one wire. Okay, marker light, blinker should be good. We rewired that. Let's make sure of that. And we got low beam, but we do not have high. And uh, let me make sure blinker works. Yep, blinker working. Um, I have why I have voltage going to it, so I'm thinking it's something about that plug. Maybe the back side of the plug. So we'll have to pop that cover back off. Got the hood propped up, and uh, it's working. But as you see. It doesn't work. So this connection in here is junk. See, works, doesn't work, works, doesn't work, works, doesn't work. Well, I guess it was good that we got one of these because um, we needed one after all. A lot of messing around for nothing, but things are good. Well, I'm sure it's
Much better. Much, much, much better. I'll let those cool down a little bit and then as we heat shrunk everything, I'll throw it back together. And we just gotta figure out that cooling leak. That probably took longer than it should have, but chasing little gremlins. But we got all our marker lights, high beam, low beam work. So right now it's low beam, high beam puts both on at the same time. Blinkers, another marker light. And then our top lights, like I said, we're getting bulbs. Whew. I'm better at wiring than I was before, as far as a couple years ago, but sometimes it's, you're chasing stuff and you don't know. So we had issues in the cab, stuff wasn't wired right. Um, they had those jumpers, which didn't really make any sense. And then we had issues in the harness up here. Then we had issues with the plug over there. And then the marker lights were burnt out or flipped or something. So I'm excited to see that night. Really, once those are lit back up. So they're lit up right now. You just can't see them with the gorgeous weather we're having. I'm slightly concerned we got a head gasket issue, but... There's some oil and stuff. It's a silage truck. It's just part of it, okay, guys? Um, you can't really see much. Granted, if you climb on in here, let's keep those jumper wires just in case. You can take this whole panel out right here. Um, I always forget. There we go. One out. I gotta move the vacuum. We were I vacuumed some stuff up while we were doing things. And then you got a ratchet strap on this one. And then that whole panel comes out. And then you can see the back side of the motor. So we'll see what goes on. This really takes two hands, but I'm trying to get you guys some angles here so you can see. There we go. There it is. Yeah. There's some dampness. Um, so like I said, I don't actually see. Ooh, there's coolant right there. But I don't see where it's coming from. All right, I gotta, silage gets all over everything. It's it pretty wild. Let me pull that panel out and then we'll, we'll get it going and see where we can see where it's dripping. Okay, I noticed some things. Um, so we got that back cover off. I don't see anything coming. And it, it's leaked quite a bit in the last 24 hours. So I couldn't find nothing. Don't actually see anything dripping. I see some wet spots here and there. And then it hit me. Water pump is leaking. And it's dripping down on everything. When it's running, it's good, but I think that's our issue. Um, I also did notice that, if you watch, this moves up and down. So the lift pump is moving. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. So we gotta tighten that up. We do gotta figure out the Jake spot. Alrighty, that is where we're at. Huh. We should have a water pump, right? So we got this used water pump. Um, it is leaking out of there, but I just don't think it's leaking fast enough to be what it is. But I just can't see it dripping anymore. Alrighty. All of a sudden, this crazy car came in, and Robert's back. I'm not... Oh, wanna grab one of those? This is what goes on. So, Shannon works for Agri King, which... Shannon lives with Robert, I guess. They're dating. <laughs> and she was at, uh... Collins so got some maple milk from Collins and appreciate you guys so up there is that Lee Center it's it's Lee right it says on it Rome it's Rome so we've been there quite a few times great people
Oh yeah. The good stuff. Yeah. You want to fix this for me? You yeah. think a little hammer would fix it? Yeah. A little hammer. Of course, when I go to try to figure it out, it won't leak at all. Um, I don't know if one of the freeze plugs, it was just dry and once it got wet, it's good to go or what? You would figure it's got pressure and everything else like that. I'm gonna let it get warm and uh, I don't know. We do gotta get that water. We will get a spare water pump. We got one sitting there, but I'd rather get a new one if we're not in a pinch right now. Um, I'm gonna dive in there and just see what's going on again, but other than the coolant, and I'd like to figure out some of the jakes, which I don't have a clue on the jake side of it, but we're gonna find out. Between poor connections there and some corrosion on the back, well, not really corrosion, just dirty. Um, I'm hoping I got the gauge figured out. I did go over the parts truck over there and I grabbed the gauge that was in there and they acted the same at this point. So I'm thinking I got it figured out. Hoping I get it figured out. Then we'll be good there because it's always a concern. Somebody else running the truck, they don't know. They don't look at the temp and they don't think about it and then you burn a motor down. We'll see if that goes back down to 100. I'll let it cool down for a while. Um, I got to figure out the last thing really. Well, I'm seeing if this is going to leak again. Um, got to figure out the jakes. So I was wondering that if it was actually jake brakes or if it was a Dynatard. And it is a Dynatard, which is... Yeah, it's not the best thing, but it ain't bad. It's better than nothing. Oh, there's so much junk. I tried to clean it out, but you just can't. Granted, we need to do it. Oil change on this. But stuff gets built up everywhere. and It looks good inside. No carbon buildup, stuff like that, so... I'm gonna get stuff cleaned up. We'll get a gasket kit for it, so we'll come back to it at some point. But I figured as long as we're here, we should get it going. Or at least give it a try and then see what we need to do. So I think it just needed adjustment on the top, but I figured I'd pull it off and actually see. So Jake's, you'd have the whole assembly. Dynatards, just this. Which I don't know if that's supposed to move up and down. I guess we better take a picture of that number. Yeah, so we got that for the future. So when we talk, well, that's your contact as far as actually applying them. So that all looks, ah, uh, there's a broken wire right there. Yeah, that's good. Okay, what we got is I believe the solenoids do not work. And... Ever since I've had the truck, it's kind of been iffy. Like it will halfway work and then it won't. And lately it just hasn't worked at all. So what I'm probably going to do is call Global back, put the valve cover on, just set it on there. Call Global, back this out because it's supposed to rain tomorrow. Back this out, call Global, see about that because we got some other things. Um, and Aaron's got some stuff too. And then, cause I can, I can manually hit it and it doesn't do nothing. Like I can, I can touch it right to it. So, which all it is, is using oil pressure. Let me see if I, yeah. So that should magnetize it. Where are we here? Uh oh, oh no, it's attached there. So that should magnetize it and then Yes, this cord's broken. Dynatards, there's people that say they work as good as Jake's. There's people that don't. I don't know. It's on here. So a Dynatard compared to a Jake brake, you got a different motor as far as cam and oil passages to make a Dynatard work. Um, and it adjusts your, as you see, this valve to that valve is different. Um, yeah as our rocker arm because it uses oil pressure to actually slow down the rockers on that side of it which then holds the motor back 
So, yeah. Hmm. So what did we get done today? Truck's wired, which is good for lights. Do we need an engine brake, actually? Technically, no, but it's nice on the hills. Saves on your brakes, everything else like that. Um, no idea where the coolant leak is, which is really annoying. Um, we got some parts that we got to order. I'm going to leave. We're going to put the valve cover back on, but we're going to leave a um, bunch of the other stuff off. <laughs> the crossover breather and stuff like that. <laughs> Since, well... I have always known that, where did I put it? Right here. This hose needs to be replaced some. It falls off on that side. So we'll get some things cleaned up. I'll throw that valve cover back on. Um, hopefully it's just a, two solenoids and we will be good to go as far as engine brake. Um, checked everything else, ran everything around. Not really sure on the temp gauge because it hasn't moved, which is, Kind of odd to me, but yeah, we, uh, I did get some extra stuff out of the other truck, so I'll leave it right like this. We'll just, uh, yeah, it's all part of it. I gotta get parts. If it's not raining too bad tomorrow, I'll call Global and we'll make sure that I'll verify all that. Um, I do have a number off of that. I'm trying to put the Jake, well, not Jake, engine brake switch back on. So, yep, come on. <laughs> I'm struggling. There we go. In. So, this is the engine brake relay. Um, we got to check all that. We got to verify all that once we don't work good. But, yeah, pack up, back this out of the way. And I guess me and Robert and Shannon and some others are going to dinner, which will be good. I'm mentally exhausted. Like, mentally exhausted. I still gotta do, uh... I still gotta do more paperwork for taxes. Which, uh, if you're in New York State and you're a farmer, you'll understand this year. Um, there's some benefits as far as purchase... Well, la this year's taxes as far as last year purchasing stuff, there's some huge benefits. So big big uh cash payouts pretty much is what it really is at the end of the day um so yeah my accountant yeah so that's where i'm at there it is gorgeous i'm exhausted though uh this thing's gonna be meant for calling hauling silage which will be good um i'm i have a feeling we're it's gonna do some work this year I'm very excited. Geese are leaving, thank God. There's quite a few. Oh, the deer are up on top of the grass. So, I'll get this moved and put away. And actually, I should look at the weather and just see if, because if it is good, I'm going to do that. They're not open on the weekends. I don't know what I was thinking, but. All right, I'm going to back this out of the way. We'll park it over there. Um, it is supposed to rain tomorrow afternoon into the night. So we'll get into a different project, like some, probably get the plows out and get that actually ready. Um, we got bearings to put in the one wheel. Should order another set. Probably should order two sets. Got a plow, to, got a plow whole assembly to put back on that we ripped off and otherwise we should be okay. So, alrighty. Appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm tired of wrenching on trucks, but it feels so much better to be to be ready for it, which will be cool. So, have a good one.